All right, so start off making a new blueprint interface. Name this interact interface. If you already have one of these, you don't need to make another one. Open that up, name this interact. Compile save. Now make a new blueprint class actor. For a simple door and open that up. I'm gonna add a static mesh for my door. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and add one for my frame. You don't need a frame if you don't want one. Then with the scene root selected, we're going to add a box collision. I'm going to change the location of this and resize it. Save that. And now with your door selected, we're going to add a widget here. I'm going to add my interact widget and then change this to the location and then change it to from world to screen. Search for visible, uncheck this, compile save. I'll show you what this widget looks like right now. It's just a canvas panel with some borders and then a piece of text in the center. Now select your box and go on component begin overlap. Get the begin play. Get player character. Cast to BP third person character. Right click and promote to a variable. And then you want to check if it's equal to your player character. Into a branch. And then you want to get that widget. Set visibility to true. And then select the box again and get the end overlap. And now you can copy all this and paste it down here. Plug it all in. And then just uncheck it so that way it's false. Leave that and then go into your class settings. Add a new interface and search for your interact interface. Then you want to go over here into the interfaces. Double click it to get the event. From here we're going to do a flip flop. From A, we're going to add a timeline. It's going to be a door timeline. Plug B into reverse. Open this up. Add a float track for door rotation. And then I'm going to change the length here to 2. Add a key. 0, 0, and then right click and add another key for 2 and 1. Compile, save that, close your timeline. Now from here you want to get a lerp. Plug this into the alpha. A is going to be 0 and B is going to be minus 120. Then you can get your door and set relative rotation. Split this. Plug it into the Z and then the update. Compile, save that. Close that. And now go into your project settings, into the input, add a new action mapping for interact. I'm going to use F. Then open your character blueprint. Get that interact event. Then get overlapping actors into the actor. From here you want to get a for each loop with break into the pressed. Get a branch, plug that in. From the array you want to get does implement interface and search for your interact interface. Plug that into the branch. Then from the array you want to get that interact message into the true. And then from the end of the interact message you want to plug that into the break. You can double click the line to get these little nodes. And compile and save that. Close that. Now you can take your door, put a couple in your world and go test it out. Thanks for watching.